I did that video about hitting a six iron far and it made me think I should really work on my driver because it doesn't matter how far I hit a six iron and the driver does matter. Uh, statistically, there's probably almost nothing an amateur, you know, or whatever you want to call it, player could do, uh, but a player that's not like a pro shooting under par, an amateur gets more out of an extra 20 yards than, than a pro does. So it's a big deal to uh, learn to hit your driver a little bit farther. Everything else subsequently becomes easier, shorter irons in, all those kinds of things, right? So anyway, I'm going to work on that. I think like most speed training things, I'll try to work on this maybe three times a week and really go at this. So by go at it, I mean really get the feeling of working my muscles and I'm going to hopefully get stronger from this too, right? So five minutes a day of this. This is quite a workout. That would, you would be sure to become stronger, but also train a good pattern for your swing. So we'll take that feeling and now apply that to the ball. And this will be my baseline swing, I guess. So, so hit it a little high on the inside. My spin numbers are good. Let's see what I got. That's pretty good actually. So uh, 17 degrees of launch, which is, that's actually, if you can launch it crazy high, and I have trained myself to do that, you'll add a bunch of yards without swinging faster, doing anything else. So, High launch is good. Spin numbers right about where you want to be with a back with a driver. Lower it goes farther. Get around 2,000, you get more distance. Um, my ball speed. This is real. This is imagined. So I really had a 141 ball speed, and my club speed could have been anything. My guess is a little higher. This just guesses, and because my strike wasn't perfect. Um, anyway, carried almost 240. 266 total, so that's going to be my starting point, and we'll see if I can get to, I don't know, in two months. If I could hit one drive 290 at my age and size, that would be pretty good. So I'm going to just work on that three times a week, and if you're at home and you want to work on it too, and if you don't have a trainer, just get something heavy and practice that sequence. It's not going to teach you all the parts about where you should be, but the sequence you can get. Get the feeling of moving a heavy object like that. So, um, great. That's day one, and then see what happens. I'll do. It. I'll post a little video three times a week.